Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for nine straight years now, almost every day. Today I'd like to share 1 Corinthians 6 verses 12 to 20. And here's the word of God. All things are permitted for me, but not all things are out of benefit. All things are permitted for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach is for food. However, God will do away with both of them. But the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. Now God has not only raised the Lord, but will also raise us up through His power. Do you not know that your bodies are parts of Christ? Shall I then take away the parts of Christ and make them parts of of a prostitute? Far from it. Or do you not know that the one who joins himself to a prostitute is one body with her? For he says, the two shall become one flesh. But the one who joins himself to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every other sin that a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body or do you not know that your body is a temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god and that you are not your own for you have been brought for a price therefore glorify god in your body first corinthians 6 12 to 20. and here's my blog the body belongs to the lord in this letter, Paul reminds the believers that although all things are allowed, it doesn't mean that everything is beneficial. He explains the importance of being consumed by anything. In verse 13, he sets the boundaries for the believers to remember that food is for the stomach, but the body isn't for sexual immorality. Paul tells them that their bodies belong to Christ, and since it does, they would need to keep it pure and holy. In verse 15, he repeats to them that if they belong to Christ, then their bodies are parts of him. Peter warns believers that they must never ever join themselves with prostitutes. He tells them again that Christ is their husband and the body of Christ is a wife. In verse 16, Paul reiterates to them of the sanctity of marriage in Genesis 2.24 which says, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave into, unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Just like a man and a woman becomes one, the believer is one with Christ's spirit. In verse 18, Paul reproves the believers to run away from any sexual immorality. He says that a sexually immoral person is connect, committing a sin against his own body. As a servant of God, He owns us, and so our bodies are not ours. We need to keep it sanctified for the Lord. Reflection. Why is it important for Christians to keep their bodies pure and holy? Well, as, as Paul was saying in this uh, letter to the Corinthians, our bodies does not belong to us. So if it is not ours, it is not our, our own discretion. It is owned by God. So it is at God's discretion that we should be um, taking care of our body. And our body should be used for glorifying God, not for glorifying or satisfying ourselves. So since we became holy because of Jesus Christ, when we became believers and committed to Him, to serve Him, therefore... Our bodies is not ours anymore. We do not think for ourselves. We think for the kingdom of God. We do not do things for our own satisfaction, for to satisfy our own craving, or to to give into our flesh. But our bodies are now belongs to Christ because we have committed and decided to serve Him. So it is important though we keep our bodies pure and holy. Because if we don't, we are committing the sin against our body, meaning we are defiling our body, which is the temple of Christ. So it's important that we keep it uncorrupted, 
of course we are all sinners and we have a bent tendency to sin but it doesn't mean that we cannot keep ourselves pure by abiding in Christ and following his word and all his commands. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much, and so do I.